Good morning, world. Oh, we are here in Alabama. Alabama. It is beautiful outside. It is hot. Hot, hot. I had to turn the truck air conditioning on. I know. It's like almost no. It's almost end of November, and I'm using the air conditioning in my truck. Can I just stay down here with you guys in Alabama? I, I'll be good. I promise. I'll work real hard. I'll get a job. I'll get all the paperwork done so that it's legal. I'm just gonna stay, okay? All right. Legally, I can stay for six months. I'm not allowed to work, though. I need a work visa. Any of you know how to get a work visa? How do you become a citizen? How do you get a green card? Can I still just hang out in someone's basement for five years and be a citizen? I'm just bugging you. I'm just bugging you. I wouldn't do that. Don't worry. I wouldn't mind moving to the States. Beautiful country. Great people down here. Great weather. The further south you go. It's a great country. I love it. But if I were to move to the States, I wouldn't want my first act in the country to be a crime. You know what I mean? Like, I, I would go through it the legal way, obviously. That's just who I am. I wouldn't sneak across the border and break their laws because, you know, I want to be a contributing member to society. I want to work hard, build up the economy so that we all prosper more, you know? Do a good job. So it sort of defeats the purpose if I break the law the second I cross in, you know, like the first thing I do in the new country is breaking a law. Nah, that's just not who I am. But anyways, that aside, if the opportunity presents itself, hey, I'd love to live down here, but nothing wrong with Canada either. I mean, there's nothing, nothing at all. I mean, I, I'm safe. I, I don't agree with the federal government, but they're not trashing the place completely. They are a little bit, in my opinion, but I mean, I, my life isn't threatened. I have freedom, so it's not like a life or death situation of me leaving Canada. That's why I'll stay up there. It's fine. But if the opportunity ever presented itself for me to live in a climate where it's summer all year round, I'm just saying. Just saying. <laughs> Count me in. So now, we're going to go switch our trailers and get some other freight, and that other freight is taking us home. We're going to be home on Sunday, and then we're going to be leaving Tuesday afternoon again, and then we'll be back Friday. That's my week in a nutshell. It's going to be exciting. All right. Let the fun begin. Here we go. Oh, this guy here's got a backup beeper. He's lucky I'm leaving. Unnecessary noises. Just saying. Getting out of here before I go rip that thing off his truck myself. Okay. Here we, here we go. Uh, so we're pretty much just over the border into Alabama from Tennessee. We're gonna uh, run along the top of the state here into Mississippi and then back up into the southwestern part of Tennessee. Absolutely beautiful weather down here. Oh, these people don't even know how good it is. They just get a live in it every day. So I gotta make a right turn after this bridge, I think. Against my NASCAR instincts. 15 foot nine. The bridge over to the left there must be newer, obviously. So what town is Keep this? Keep to Alabama 20 oh, West. Oh, quiet. Stop yelling at me. So mean all the time. You know, I got to turn right here? Yes, here. Okay. So we're still in Alabama here. We're turning on to uh, this road right here. Trying to pay attention so I can try and figure out what town we're in. I missed the sign. This is the first time on this road that I was on, Highway 72 in Alabama. First time I've ever seen a speed limit sign that said 60 mile an hour, but 50 mile an hour when wet. So when it's raining, there's a different speed limit. Oh, these are, look, sirens.
I'd like to drive a fire truck just so I can drive with the sirens on. Wouldn't that be cool if I could put sirens on my truck? I got freight to deliver, folks. Get out the way. these country properties here. We're coming up to the Tennessee line again. We're going to cross over into the great state of Tennessee. We're not too far away from where uh, Jay and John live, probably just an hour or two, a couple of hours. They have a nice property. Man, I love their property. Where's the Tennessee line? Oh, there's the, there's the sign up ahead there. Tennessee. You guys ready? Going to cross in Tennessee. How many of you are from Tennessee? Tennessee State Line. Even the road's different. Wow, yes, Mandy, we're in another state. Thank you for letting me know. Bing! You are in Tennessee. Oh, we're finally out of there. Got our new trailer behind us. It took me forever to figure out which one it was. Because it's not ours. It's someone else's trailer. So I had to call in to confirm, am I supposed to take this other person's trailer all the way up to Canada? Are you sure they're gonna be okay with that? It's a okay. So now that we got the actual right trailer behind us, I am headed home. 2,264 kilometers, approximately 25, 25 hours of driving. So we'll be home day after tomorrow, midday or so. We're just leaving Middleton, Tennessee here right now. Driving through Jackson, Tennessee right now on our way northward. Still got quite a ways to go. Barely gone anywhere today. Feels like it's been such a long day since the sun goes down so early, you know. I need to get over to that right lane. Get my signal device on. Oh, and they understand what that means in Jackson. Right on. I like the people here. So I have another six hours I can drive tonight yet, so I'll be driving a while. Well, that guy's in a hurry with his Toyota. <laughs> Toyota. Or was that a Ford? He's got no tail lights on that thing. Toyota's coming out with some pretty impressive full-size trucks. I just don't know how good they're going to do in the North American market. I mean, it's, it's a lot of pride that pickup truck owners have in either owning a Chevy Dodge or a Ford, you know? This is America, North America. We want to drive American vehicles. 
regardless of what people say of them. I don't want to drive a Japanese truck. All right, I want to. I want to drive something that was made here. Turn my rocking tunes down for a little bit so I can talk to you. We are uh, pulled off the road safely. We have exactly 48 minutes left to drive on my day. So we gotta figure out where we're gonna stop. I stopped so that I could pull out uh, the Googles and find a safe place to park about a half hour from where I am right now or anywhere near around here. Where are we? Uh, we're not on a interstate. I was hoping we'd end off on an interstate, but it's a U.S. highway. Moscow Mills, Missouri. I'm gonna find a place to park around here somewhere. It's almost time to end the day. All right, I think I found a place to park. Uh, this is the road we're on here. U.S. 81. We're going down the road here, and I found a bit of a truck stop here. Fast Lane Eoli. As you can tell here, it looks like they got their fuel pumps here. Looks like they got lots of truck parking over here. Just to be sure, we're gonna take our little guy here and go to street view. Turn our phone this way. And this is what it looks like on street view. You can tell there's trucks parked over there. There is a big parking lot. So I should be able to park there. Do a fueling over here, there's a store over here. Beautiful. So that's where we're going to go. Let's see how far away we are from this place. Uh, let's just go back to the map. Uh, let's see if this thing knows how to work. Okay. 21 minutes, it looks like. We'll just quickly... 35 kilometers, 21 minutes from here, Moscow Mills, up the road to there. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to mount that right there. Press the navigate button, that's gonna take me there. I have a magnet, if you're wondering how that sticks there. Uh, I just got this actually, I should show you. It's a magnet mount, you see on the back here, there's a little magnet, and there's a the magnet there, and, and it stays. All right, there we go. You can have it however you want, you can have it like that too. No, I'll just put it like that there for now. Okay, so we know where we're going. We have bum, 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 focus. 40 minutes to get there. It's gonna take us 21 minutes. Perfect. Okay, just arriving here. Looks just like it did on Google Maps. There's just a whole lot more trucks here than there was. And it's a little darker than what it looked like on the maps. But here we are. Lots of truck parking. Just like it said. See, that's how you find truck parking. Using Google and technology. I might just park along the grass here on the right. Looks like all the other spots are taken. Since it's a gravel lot, it looks like people down here have a problem parking straight too. It's not just a Canadian phenomenon. What do you know? Oh uh, yeah, that is good. Parked with 16 minutes left, I believe. 16 minutes left, not too bad, 80s. Huh? Suddenly feeling the effects of a full day. How about you? you Drive 7.9 kilometers on MoFF. Why do you do that? I'm done. I'm finished. I'm not driving anymore. 1,608 kilometers left to home. For another day. Diesel, you want to go anywhere? Anywhere specific? Anywhere that rhymes with... Outside? No? Why are you looking at me like that? You want to go outside? He doesn't believe me. I mess with your mind too much. I, now you don't believe me when I ask you. Would you like to go outside the truck? Outside the truck. <laughs> You're going to need your collar, I know. You're going to need your collar. Okay, let's put your collar on here. 
Oh, I take that off for comfort during the day and at night. But if you go outside the truck, you need to put your name tags on so people can get you back to me if you get lost, right? Geez, what would we do if we lost you? I would cry. I would cry like a college student after an election they didn't like. Let's get him outside. Let's end the day. Let's go back there. Let's sleep. Let's get up tomorrow morning and do it all over again. And there's a picture of my phone. It's a nice phone, isn't it? I need to get a new one. That's a Note 3. They've already come out with the Note 7 and it's already blown up and I still have a Note 3. I need to at least go and get a Note 6. This phone keeps glitching on me, but it does work. It is a magical tool and it is my best friend on the road because of exactly what I showed you right there with it. I can zoom right into where I'm gonna stop for the night. I can use it for my customers as well. Go right down to street view to see what it looks like, what, what direction I need to come at it. You know, it, it's amazing. Technology has helped trucking so much, so much. It's completely revolutionized the way we deliver freight. And I love it, I love it. Even the e-log, you know, people say so many bad things about the e-log, you know, I, I don't mind it, you know, it hasn't slowed me down, it hasn't taken any money away from me, it hasn't prevented me from making money, I guess I could say, I don't mind it, you know, it's not that scary, for those of you guys who aren't on it yet, you know, when you do get forced on it, 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 it sort of sucks that they're forcing us to do it, it should be the company's choice, each individual, I, I get it, but it's not as scary as they make it out to be. The only thing is you gotta really use your trip planning skills to plan out where you're going to sleep, and exactly like what I did here, use Google Maps. All right, once, you're, once your clock hits one hour left, pull over safely and find a place to park within the next 60 miles or so, or within the next 40 miles, 75 kilometers or whatever. Anyways, thanks for watching guys if you liked it hit that thumbs up button on the youtube page and if you haven't joined the tjv crew yet hit that subscribe button on the youtube page we'd love to have you along we make a new video every single day most days 350 days out of the year it says mm -hmm. love to have you with us hit that subscribe button and if you like the vlog chances are your friends will too don't forget to share it out on your own social media i'll see you tomorrow